I'd like your advice on refrigerator ice buildup problems. First check the thermostat. The kids might have been playing with the fridge temperature gauge. It's set to normal, so it is not like my fridge thinks it is supposed to be a freezer. Too much ice in the freezer could be because the freezer drain is frozen over. It is full of ice. If there is a defrosting heater in the fridge that turns on to melt the ice but it doesn't drain down the drain. You'll get more and more ice until the melt water starts to flow out of the freezer. Or into the fridge. If your fridge uses a compressor and condenser in the freezer that blows cold air into the fridge, check the vent. I do not know what design it has. If there's a vent in the back of the freezer that vents air to the top of the fridge, you can poke holes in the ice to improve airflow. Then the freezer will move more cold air into the fridge and melt some of the ice. I already have some condensation problems in the fridge as is. If the fridge has a leaky seal, you'll get condensation in both the fridge and freezer. That condensation in the freezer eventually turns into ice. Assuming it is not vented. If the fans in the fridge or freezer aren't working, you risk the back of the freezer being a block of ice while the rest of the unit isn't cold. That only explains ice buildup if the freezer has frozen around the frozen dinners and nothing else. If you've got an ice maker in the door, your fridge is prone to water leaks in the door freezing. I'd notice if I had ice on the door of the fridge or drinks next to the ice maker freezing. If your ice maker is in the freezer, the water intake tube could be leaking into the freezer, freezing into all that ice you see. Except for the defrosting heater that is supposed to control that sort of thing. Maybe the reason you have a freezer that looks like a scene out of the movie Frozen is that the defrosting heater is dead. It sounds weird to say there is a heater in the freezer. The heater might be turned off by some energy saving mode or malfunctioning. Or have a burned out heater element like my hot water heater. At least a broken freezer defrosting heater is cheap to replace and can be managed by defrosting the freezer. If you've got a refrigerant leak, it costs a lot to fix the leak and recharge the unit. I never thought I'd say this, but I hope it is just a water leak.